Left footing ball, back stick, Sanford again! Two goals in two games off set pieces for Sanford. Morris, Morales, puts it in the bottom corner, and Campbell, with less than 60 seconds to go, wrapping up an incredible first half. Five goals. Lindfeld, still he goes on. Lovely ball, Chabal palmed away by Rodriguez. What may be his biggest save of his Campbell career. There's Myers, Perkins, and Rodriguez can Eight, snuff it out. Nine, eight, seven, Campbell, six, see five, off the usurpers four, and restake three, their claim two, atop one. the Big South throne. For three times in the last four seasons, they are the Big South champions and are back in the NCAA tournament. Closed down by two defenders. An incredible finish. A shift of seismic performances in this match. It's Haley McWhorter. Puts it into the upper echelons. And sends these fans at Johnson Stadium through the roof. They've crafted an incredible comeback. The ball by Moxie, a perfect one. The header, even more so by McWhorter. ECU on the precipice of an incredible comeback. They come back two to one on senior day and book their spot in the AAC tournament. First win over a ranked opponent for Jason Hamilton and they're back for the third time in the last four seasons. Richards. Scoops it up, Donald. It's that connection again. 99-9 to nine the second time, and Campbell take the lead for the first time in this game. Give up four goals, they take such pride in that back line, maybe more. Liston lifts it over seed lock and nestles it into the bottom corner. An emphatic comeback from the defending tournament and regular season champions. They're marching on to the final here on Sunday. Moxie, now McWhorter, spots her well. Abbott to get one back, saved wonderfully by Sutherland. Godby, Schlegel lines it up, fires it over. Soa has Riggs out wide, lines up the cross. Good ball for Moxie, catches it so well, but Sutherland is there again. Pratt. Excellent ball for Prilliman. Picks her head up, drives it high, and puts it in! Skyler Prilliman in sudden victory overtime wins her team the championship and sends them on to the NCAA tournament. It's high noon in Greenville, North Carolina, where two teams are staring down a crucial three points for their respective seasons. The nationally ranked Memphis Tigers coming off two consecutive losses in the hunt for the regular season title, and the ECU Pirates on senior night needing three points to guarantee them a spot in the playoffs. Welcome inside the booth here at Johnson Stadium. My name is Zach Burley. Delighted you've joined us. Senior night means there's going to be a lot of celebrations. will be a lot of fun. But, of course, big three points. Memphis in the hunt. Want to lock up that regular season title. ECU need it for the playoffs. Let's introduce you to the two lineups. First, for the Memphis Tigers with Tanya Boychuk. She is a very savvy attacker. Six goals. She leads the team in goals and points. When she has got a point, a goal or an assist, Memphis have never lost. Watch out for her getting on the score sheet today. 
Flip side of things from a senior to a freshman who's lighting things up, Haley McWhorter. She is very impressive in her freshman year. Most fourth most goals overall for a rookie, tied seventh in most points. Her class is outstanding, and she's been earned the rookie of the week for her efforts. There's a lot to play for here, and we can take a look at the conference standings to put it into perspective. Memphis are in the hunt with USF up top. They need to win their last two games, and UCF to lose some as well. ECU, a loss does not eliminate them, but three points would guarantee them a spot in the playoffs. There's some other games going on right after this one and during this one that involve Temple and Cincinnati. Those are ones you're going to want to watch for because ECU want losses for those teams in those games because that will help them in their hunt for securing the playoffs. Folks, we're going to have lineups live action right after this. Stick with us here on ESPN+. Plus.